I am so sports. You know me there, yeah. I'm coast to coast representing. I mean, I said this is right, so representing for Omar. You don't know, come get your sports over here from near and far. Boy, 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 boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about When me say sure, that me, me not doubt Come get your sports, get it over air Come subscribe, repost and share I am sure sports, one thing me sure about When me say sure, that me, me not doubt Come get your sports, get it over air Come subscribe, repost and share yeah, If me not sure, that me, me not say it No who score, that me, me not say it Never know no game play, that me, me not say it If me never see no game, me not know who play For your sports news, better come over your son For your soccer news, then come over your son If you don't love sports, they'll come over your son for the day, don't you want to love over your son? So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil or Argentina with these crapper players. We are good enough. Remember to like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Herbs and spices add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? All right, greetings and welcome, people, to I Am Sure Sports. Right, we have a big one today. We have the part two of the Sir Bob Campbell story. People start punching in question. Um, already for Sir Bob, but we don't even want to get there. See, so I have a question here already. I hope you ask him why he benched Donovan Jordona in the Dacosta Cup finals. In 1982 at Veer, and the other person is laughing, but we're not going to get into that right now. But, Sir Bob, how are you doing today? I'm here, boss. Praise God and thanks for having me. Yeah, man, again, and I'm so grateful again um, for you being here and want to thank you for your time, for making the time today again, for being here. I know yesterday must have been a little bit difficult for you because you were remembering the life of, uh, you know, Mr. Fraser, Dr. Fraser. You know? Yeah, Dr. Fraser, man, very, very good doctor and very good person. Because when I was coaching Tivoli Gardens football team, he, he was he was my doc, he was he was my team doctor. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I know. Listen, I I know that the last time we we we, we never we never get to end. Oh, just one a second. First all right. of all, I just like to apologize to all the listeners, all the viewers. You know. I like a thing went down, but this time it will be sweeter. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. So let's pick up the story about, I mean, some of the players that as a coach you have worked with um, um, from your high school days into, you know, the national team, into the Premier League or the what, whatever league of coaching. Who are some of the players that you have worked with throughout your career? Standout player. I know you, you, you mentioned Paula well, Wilson. Want start, maybe you want us to start with... The, the, the team that are coached, the players them. Right. So go ahead and you All just right. share your story. You have as much time as you want to go through and talk about some of the standouts. Go ahead. Yeah, well, the, I will start with some of the players them. Like one of the best goalkeeper, apart from Avenidos, was Winston Lyde. They call him Fish. That was a goalkeeper. Norris Henry, Paula Wilson, Andrew Bailey, that is a good well, skipper. Federman. Federman. Miv. Kel Dillon, that is Berger, that was Licker Berger, that was Licker Berger, brother. You understand? One of the only players, man, Rowan Palmer, Richard English, 
Yeah, I was that was a that was a nineteen year to set a youth. Yeah, one of the best school by team, I think, actually. That was the Veer team, 1986. 1980. 1980. Did you win? You win. You, you won the Costa Cup, Ben Francis Cup, and um and the Olivia Shield that year. That that 1980 team won the, the Costa Cup, the the Ben Francis Cup, the Oliver Shield. They, brought, they, they, they bring in a new trophy that year, the, the Jack Ashenheim trophy. They, they win every, they win, must have around six trophies they won that year. Okay, okay. And, and, and okay, and you were the coach of that team. That, was that the first time you were coaching the VR team? Are you coaching no, them before? No, no, Mr. <laughs> no, when did you start, start coaching them? I started coaching, I graduated from VR 1969, and I started coaching VR like around 71. Long oh, time. Two years after, okay. And and um and you won everything at Veer. So when, when did you win your first title with Veer? Do you remember which year was your first uh, title? Uh, because no, we, some of them questions they have forgot me here because it's long time now. I think 76. Okay. Okay. And you remember the 76 side? Well, now go easy now because <laughs> yeah. some of them I remember by the year because most of my players them are here. That's like I can remember there was Rudyard Spencer. There was a super sub. That was this guy. Oh, you um, Rudyard Spencer, the politician? No, man. Oh, we oh, have oh. A, we have a bad, bad, bad in 76. Rudyard Spencer is here. That was Imbo. Okay. Yeah, that, that that set of players, you know, Roche, one we yeah, but like me, I say, it's a good time away, you know. We did our sub, Totti, that youth was from Westmoreland. I don't remember him right now, but we used to call okay. them, call them the, the human stub, to the tick and spot, but every time him come on, yeah, he played a big, big part in us winning that, that, that year. Okay. So that 76, you won your first title as a coach, and that was with Veer. Yeah. And then you won again in 80. That was the next yeah. time. Are you won before you won any more after that? 76? No, that one. So you, you did have one Mexico one in about two other the things that go down, and I had to leave the team, and oh. Jackie Bell would come and take it. So, I mean, yeah, I didn't mean, I count that tonight. You understand? You can't count it if you, if you feel for count it, count it. You understand? Okay. Okay, so <laughs> 1980, you won everything with Veer. Did, yeah. did you did you stay with the team after that or you moved to a next team? No, 19, after after that. No, 81, you know, we, we, we remember that 1981, we lost to Dintel in the final at, at oh. uh, Garrett Park. Yeah? Yeah, wow. because there was, a, there was some little problem with my team. I'm going to have to leave out my best player, my two of my best players. Who, who are the best players? Who, who, Joe Downer? No. Oh. Ron Palmer. Oh. The, the man who I thought would be the, 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 the champion footballer in Jamaica. Yeah, he, Ron Palmer and I think was, I think was Mifkel. Two of them. Some, some, some take place inside the camp that me as a coach, me did have to, Sideline them, the two best players. Whoa. That actually cost us the, 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 the cup. So you 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 were a disciplinarian when you were coaching your team. Even if it's no, in the final, well, you would put out your best players, put them on the bench if they, they, they break any kind of rules. That's that's I want to tell you something. Them I never even put them on the bench. I mean, never even, when we leave for Mobile, when we leave here for Mobile upon the school bus, they weren't with us. Wow. I just leave them because of disciplinary reasons. Because me as a coach, I have certain things. Plus, my manager, Mr. Baxel, yeah, we have certain standards where, yeah, you want to win, you know, but yeah, you understand. There's a certain limit to certain things. And you as a coach, you as a manager, have to keep a standard. You understand? Yeah, that's impressive because I'm not I'm almost certain if them two men did line up, we'd have to lick it again. But uh, yeah, you know, maybe I just, so sometime, you know, boss. You have to kiss it before you can kick it, you know? I like that. You have to kiss it before, before you, can you can kick, kick it. it. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Well, in 1982, Veer went to the Dacosta Cup final again and you were the coach. And 82. 
Yeah, Joe Downer was on that side because somebody yeah, said yeah. that you bench him in the finals. The year is year to two. Mine, mine is mine is a year to one, you know. Okay, could be year to one, eighty two, but somebody says eighty two. That's our. But no, that it, no, I'm almost certain that it's year to one. Eighty one. Oh, yeah, so that's the year didn't beat us at Jarrett Park one oh, day. So Joe Downer was but, on the bench as well. Yeah, Joe, but, but I don't know them said. I don't think so because Joe did have a player. Because I remember using Milton I hardware with a sick back. Couldn't even run up and still have to play him. So, you know, we, 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 wasn't, we wasn't fully loaded. But like I say, standard as standard, you know. Me as a man, I might have my little ways and so. But I believe, and all of my players, them, we say that to me now. Because enough of my players, them, still rally around me. me and most of my players, them, still deal. Yeah. And most of my players, we say, coach, you never know, just teach about football, you, know, you teach about life. When you deal with baller, man, my, my program, you have to go to school, you have to attend class, all kind of little things to make, yeah, me can just make you come play football out there and then when you, you graduate, you're, you're out there. So, me must make sure when you leave technical school, you must can do some welding, some electrical installation, some, some background, you understand? Yes, yeah, so education was key for you. They had to. Yeah, educate yeah, yourself. yeah, yeah, because. When I go to Veer, it's the same thing. And I end up with how much subject, city and gills, all kind of things. So, yeah, me would like to see me youth them still accomplish them sort of things. You understand? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, you, you, you were at Veer and you, you won everything at Veer. After, after leaving Veer, you come. All kind of things. All cricket. Me used to coach all cricket to them. You coach Mr. cricket and won head the cup? Eh? You, coach, you won head the cup as a cricket coach? And as a player. And as a player as well. No, yeah, and Mr. No, Baxil no. was the manager same way again. Yeah, me and Mr. Baxil kind of grew up together in a very technical, you know. All right, people, well, yeah, I, need, I, need, I need to let the people then write this down. Mm. This probably is the only person in Jamaica. People, I want to write this down. In Jamaica, this probably is the only person in Jamaica who won as a player everything mm -hmm. at yeah, schoolboy level. Edley Cup. Football. And as mm -hmm. a coach, won everything. In cricket, won. Yeah, well, you know, what a second. I'm going to add something to that. Myself and Mr. Boxing, we coach a cricket team that won the Sparling Cup. That was the Isle, all very technical All Island champions. And as a matter of fact, we defeated Kingston College with the, Mike, the great Michael Holden and Whitnam. That time our cricket team comprised of Diego Garden, Peter Marston. Oh, yes, yes. Somebody told me about that match where they made Yeah, well, no, nobody knows to tell you. Me, I tell you now. Yeah. Norman yeah. Adams. Yeah. And Mr. Baxter was my manager. See me again. Oh, oh, so that their team defeated the Michael Holden when they said that Diego Garden and Marston made over yeah. 100. That Diego made, made Peter Marston made a 100 and Diego made a century also. Whoa. Listen. That match was played at Kensington Oval. I want the people to write down this, you know. Listen. Yeah, take note of them thing there, yeah, you know. Because listen, this is this is the only person that won the Costa Cup as a player, Ben Francis Cup as a player, and Olivia Shield as a player. Yeah, yeah they, have, they must put Eddie Cup, Sparling Cup, you know. We don't, we don't get that. We don't get to the cricket yet. That, that as a okay. player in, in football, then as a coach in football, he won the Costa Cup, Ben Francis Cup, and he also won Olivia Sheen as a coach. Watch this. Then as a cricketer, he won. Well, the well, 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 you must leave the first skipper to skipper and win the Nader and Ford Cup, you know. That's the all Costa. Versus all manning, I was a skipper at that time. Team. Oh, the first time that was played, you were the skipper. No, the first time that the rural team, the first Money. time that the oh. all the pasta team won the Nader and Ford Cup, you Kenneth Campbell was a player played on that side. People, I want to hear these things first time. I tell it to, to see all the achievements. Not, not only that, no, come, let's move to the cricket side. As a player, he won the Headley Cup. Then around a, two or three times. That I know, but I want I can tell you this, you know. Me know Mr. Bad still listen. You know what I tell you something. Yesterday the beer football team. 
Yes. 90% of the Veer football team is them. See them and play the cricket, you know? Because all of them was some super cricketer. But them just did like them. They just prefer the football. football. But Peter Marston, the Diego Garden, Errol Barrett, the whole of them, man, the Norman Adams, the whole of them, man, the, was football, was football. Alvin Edwards, Alvin Edwards. Alvin Edwards, oh yeah, thank you. Alvin Edwards, big, big bats, you know, big, big, <laughs> big bats. Yeah, man, big bats. Yeah, whoa, whoa. This is, this, like, this is so fascinating. I, I, this is so fascinating to just hear that. Well, I know. I'm going to give you another one. You know that I won the Edley Cup playing for Veer. The final at Sims over 1969, and Kenneth Campbell took six for 15 against Central Bay Tech. <laughs> oh, what kind of bowler were you that time? Left arm spinner. My bat right hand and bowl with my left hand. Oh, geez. Right. Listen, I wonder if these, these things, like, I'd, like, I mean, for me, this sort of information is so historic. I, I, yeah, I, because you see, you have, to, have the real man them for the information in the car. Like I tell you, most of the sports thing right now is some Google thing on them someday. You understand? Yeah. All right. So, so uh, you hearing me? Yeah, man. All right. So after that, no. So, so now you want everything in your playing days, but you are. Yeah, they are. They're getting in... a little lower though. Oh, all right. All right. Because you got the phone call. See, I want to make sure you're hearing. You're not hearing. I am hearing. hearing you, but just barely. All right. So what happened is that the, 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 we want the young lady to come back on, right? Um, if, if the young, she's still there to help you. No, she gone. <laughs> what we must do? All right. Because what happened is that you're going to have to come out of it and come on, or else you're not going here. But I want to make sure you know how to do that. It, it, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm very good at these things. No, right. I'm still here, so that's go on there thing. Or, or you want to, you can call her. I will give you time to call her because I want the people to hear what you're saying. So I don't want you have to put up your ears so close to the thing. So can you call her? I will All right, her. you're going to just give me a, the, the couple of hours I make me go get her. Yeah, man, go and get her and then we continue. Okay, we will do. All right. All right. My people, this thing, this thing is, it is, it is, it is historic. Like, I mean, Mr. Campbell, Kenneth Campbell, won everything as a player in football. Everything from um, all the Costa versus all Manning, the Costa Cup, Ben Francis Cup, Olivia Shield, everything. They never, it was the next name for it, but then he won that. All right? Then he started coaching the school. He won everything as the coach, right? Everything as the coach. He won the Da Costa Cup coaching, Ben Francis Cup coaching, Olivia Shield coaching, and the All Banning versus All Da Costa game coaching. Then in cricket, he won the Henley Cup several times as a player playing an integral part. Watch this. Not only that, then he won it as a coach. As a coach. And on top of that, he won the what you call when 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 the, the, the Henley Cup winner plays the Grey Shield winner. His team with footballers like Diego Garden, Peter Marston, Arville Edwards, that team defeated the Kingston College team. You hear me now? Yeah, no. You hearing me? You hearing now? Yeah, I'm hearing you good now. Right. Yeah, man. All right then. Here, so we are good now, right? So, yeah, man. So you're talking about. Is all right. So you can steer. Yeah. All right. So let's steer right there and then. All right. So go ahead. So right. So now your Veer team with footballers defeated the Kingston College team with the Michael Holding and all of that. And you won the. You, you. You pressed um it looked like you pressed the mute button. You mute yourself, so you have to press you have to press the mic and then you talk. All, All right. right. Yeah, man, there you go. Yeah. All right, live. 
Yeah, man. So, yes, yeah, so now you want everything as a player and as a coach in, in schoolboy football and cricket. And, and that is commendable. And I don't know. I know there are coaches who want, like Steve Buckner, Lenny Hyde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, Lenny Hyde. Big up Lenny Hyde. Big up Lenny Hyde. For me now. Yeah. One, 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 he's a member of my family that still, you know. Him not yell me up, but me I yell you up, Lenny. <laughs> Big up. All right, so you, Steve Buckner, um, Lenny Hyde, and George T are the only persons to win um, as players and coaches, all three. But you not only did it in that, you know, you do it in cricket, which yeah, means man. that nobody else in Jamaica, nobody else in the history of Jamaica holds that. Well, <laughs> yeah, because you see, it's, it's a tradition still, you know, Barsica. Remember, it all started in 64. Lincoln Shell Robinson was the first baller car Derek Thompson carried to be here, you know. And then him carried Milton Fuller. That was 64. 65, Alan Silco, Les Brown, Winston, or so. I saw the things that start from this, uh, all of that start. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, awesome stuff. So, um, then you didn't you, you left Veer, and then you after you left Veer, where did you coach after that? Well, uh, I went to St. Andrew Tech, that was the okay. first play like, that uh, under Zach Henry, principal, RIP, good okay. man, Zach Henry. I remember when I reached uh, St. Andrew Tech, you know, me have uh, six ballers when me carry, and I said, Mr. Henry, me have six youth. Mr. Campbell, he's a madman. He's a mad. I don't take ballers. You know? Yeah. Who are the six yeah, ballers? But, Who are the yeah, six but ballers? he ended up taking the six. He ended up taking the six ballers, which included Wayne Wright Davis, where he used to play for Harborview. And I make, and guess what? Me are the first man make St. Andrew take make ballers live in for them compound. So that bless you, Zach. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All that's right. why him wind up come round, come win the Alva Shield. So that's how like a piece. Then I do it I like a, a nice like a stint at St. Catherine. Yeah, oh, yeah, hold did. on, so at St. Andrew Technical, you won the... You no, won no. The... Me never, me, me, them times they were just a start. I never re really win nothing. But me oh. can't tell you that. I think that had a lot to do with what Oh, you, you laid the foundation. Tech. Yeah, even what now St. Andrew Tech is doing at that level. I think that played a big part in it, you know? Yeah. And then he moved to St. Catherine High. Yeah, my God, you got to have a stint because this time, remember, I was coaching Black Lion, you know. Okay. Black Lion. Oh. In the so it was, just next, it was just next door. So, yeah, I, I got down to St. Catherine and I tell you, the youth them was doing so well. The first time St. Catherine win a Manning Cup match, <laughs> I me mean, coach him. The first, could you believe that? The yeah. first time them win a match. A prison over. I could I was the youth them like it's the World Cup them win. But God for them and say everybody, all of them school eh, doing all right now. I did a little stint at Arden also, you know. At Arden, okay, yeah. okay. That but, is the schoolboy level. At the schoolboy level, all right. Yeah. So, so Arden, Saint Catherine, I, Stats, and Veer yeah. are the four um, schoolboy teams. Yeah, yeah, coach. Okay, but the most success was at Veer. But then you also coach at some Premier League teams or some Major League teams. Yeah, man, yeah. Major League team in, doing in the Black part. Lion. Yeah, doing the part. No, do, do, Black Lion was Premier League team, you know. Right. Yeah, because make me and Black Lion got to final. You understand? Oh, that's when and Reno beat them. And about Black, Black Lion have such a, 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 a tradition. Because when you're talking about Monty Q. Lang, Richard Davis, Harville Buchanan, O'Neill Thomas, a big, big, big ball of them there in the bus. But I just like me tell you how the things set up more time, you know. One wolf and there was a goalkeeper at Black Eye and Downer. Them man they read up Buzz Mitchell, the whole, the whole thing. Coach Walters, all that you know, them man they play a big, big part in, in Jamaica, really reaching where them reach are right now still. Okay, so when you were at Black Lions, Jackie Walters was there with you as well? No, it was at the coach Walters. When I said coach Walters, it wasn't Jackie Walters. There was a coach here by, oh. Mr. by the name of Mr. Walters. When I got there, he was the person who was actually running the program, and then me and him worked together. 
Okay, so that Black Lions team was really doing well in the Premier League. And they said during that time you were the coach out there with Montague Long and uh, there was a Long and there was a Leng on that Black yeah. Lions team. Yeah, yeah that's a Bobby Reds. Michael right. Leng. Michael went, Tolo. Yeah, Michael Tolo was there as well. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Juicy Bell was there? Who? Oh? Juicy Bell. Yeah, man, they know the architect that, man. <laughs> and the, the architect that is another thing, you know. Oh, yeah. Bell, you know. I am yeah. round there. Do I? You see, like how oh, the man Silva control, enough man do him know. A Silva run Chelsea business, you know. A 37 year old, you know. Well, Thiago Silva. Yeah, that man is the conductor and the orchestra. You never know that. So, what long about me might have sound like my country, but when Brazil gets seven, seven love from Germany. I know yeah. Germany get. Brazil, same love, you know. A Colombia. When Colombia match up Neymar and Silva oh. get red card. Oh, because yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. Neymar, you know. A Silva was the man. Because no side couldn't beat me if Silva did still around there. Okay. <laughs> Let's go move on. I see you're a Brazilian fan. <laughs> Long time. Built by Brazil. Win, lose, or draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Kenneth that... Brazil, my name. Kenneth Brazil Campbell. <laughs> That's a good one, Kenneth Brazil Campbell. Yeah. But you should have, you should have, you should have gone and played some football in Brazil, you know, given your talent, you know. Yeah. Well, like my sister, you know, boss. Me, 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 me know my people. Look, you, you remember, you remember Pepe, Pepe Goodison? Yes. Pepe, Pepe Goodison was not included in Jamaica football program, you know. It's two days before them go to Brazil the first time. Mr. Baxil and Carl Brown linked me up and I asked me why me keep saying Pepe Goodison, they mustn't leave Pepe Goodison. And I said to them, that time when we have Brown there, take out Tati Brown. None of the other man, them not as good as Goodison. And Simon was calling me and said, You mean this? I said, Yeah. And that was two days before. And in the two days, them set up Pepe and Carol Pepe go to Brazil. It's the, the rest no. of the story speak for itself. So you were the one who recommended Pepe Goodison to the the the, the, the Jamaica football federation yeah, at the time. Yeah, it was Mr. Baxil in my years. In my years. Whoa, where were you? So how did you? How did you? Um. Uh, know Pepe. Where did you? Where, where you coach? Yeah, man. Him? Because me and Admiral used to coach Olympic. Pepe team. Olympic, yeah, man. I mean, Admiral was head coach, and yes. me was Admiral assistant. Yeah. Yes, when they when they were in the Premier League. When, when yeah, they and I'm going, yeah, man. Because yeah. I remember, said Pepe lived beside Olympic field, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, man. I mean, res Pepe go to see I hear him tell him, me, I me mean, responsible for film career. Whoa! I didn't. I didn't know that you were the one who recommended him. And look at how Pepe became. I mean, big. Yeah, big it, 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 it speaks for itself. Now, when you see me, I tell you so that is. I'm it, going, to interview, I'm going to interview it. him and ask him about it, man. I'm going to ask him about it. Please do. And let me tell you, man. And there are many. Other him and the one with name Walter Boyd. I'm responsible for them there. So, because when me and Carl are on the national team, Carl was head coach. Every day, Carl send one black you know, and every evening me take him back. <laughs> oh, you used to send him home from training? No, Carl used to, you know, blacks was a game trouble. So, Carl used to run him where in the day, and me take him back in the evening. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, who also mentioned that you, Bingy Blair, was interviewing him, and he said that, um, he was saying that that Walter Boyd used to get sent home. And and he was saying the same thing that he used to talk to him and just um uh, and he would yeah. talk back yeah yeah so but me, yeah but man I tell you that you know, because remember me and Bingo Blair was in close association because okay? it's a good thing you, you mentioned that because I used to carry a, I used to coach a team in Portland named Taros Taros right what you right. Are you know? <laughs> right I used to coach Taros and Taros could have won the Premier League. His bad mind make Taurus never win Premier League that year. There, so, right. go out arena, go the Korea, you know. Yeah. All right. All right. So what I, yeah. what I want you to do is I want you to share your journey at Black Lions, your journey at Taurus, and your journey at Olympic Grand Cup. Black Lions was the first one. Then it yeah. was Taurus, and I think then Olympic Gardens. That's how it went. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, well, you know, first of all, Black Lions, 
Norman Adams, that was the same man who was our big half spinner bowler upon the side of where, where we're on in the spot. On the rear side. Yeah, and he was, listen, he was also the reserve goalkeeper for the football team. You oh. understand? So me and him was close, and he was a person who was sponsoring the Black Lions. So I got involved. And most of the time, Veer Technical and Black Lions was all, most of, uh, of Veer Technical players associated with, with, with Lions, you know. There was always a link between those two teams. The Wimpy Mitchell, the Johnny Mitchell, Veer Technical, and the same set of Mitchell um, uh, Black Lions. Oh, so the Veer players would move over to play for Black Lions? Not all, but most. most. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so you you, act that you took the Black Lions team to the final, I think, in the 89-90 season, and Reno yeah. defeated you in the finals. Reno gave a tool over Jared Park, and we work out the thing and say, if we can't score, score back them two goals in the first half, we, we can't beat you know, cause Reno, we not take none from Reno, cause them times Reno was real good, but we played on a Jarrett Park and some lights, so we, my, my, <laughs> we can't see the ball. Reno man, them, Reno man, them alone see the ball when they go into the year. Don't have a Jarrett Park feeling. <laughs> we get through them. And incidentally, the return game at stadium, we know should have gone three half time, man, and nobody can deny that. The best football match playing at Jamaica in the last 50 years. Is it Black Tie and Black Tie and Port? Well, I know Black Tie and Port Marant United Stadium. Yeah. That, was the, semif that was the semi finals. Yeah. That was the semi finals. Yeah. 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 Monty Q Lang and Michael Tolo turn it on. Yeah, man. One holy heap of ball. If you yeah. go up at stadium right now, the stadium still full of ball. Oh, holy. <laughs> We don't know how oh, we don't have them, oh, we don't have them football match up on files, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that was a game that, that because Skill Cole was coaching Port Morant at the time. Yeah, my brother that, I'm a blood brother that. All right. So, mm -hmm. so you lost the finals to Reno and then you moved from, you moved from um, Black Lions and you went over to Taurus. Yeah. I had a good thing going down there because I live at Port and them time. I mean, have a good set up here, the Bingy Blair. You have a big, strong youth that come from Centa and used to play Centa, Centa forward, score a bag of gold. Jump, Jumbo. Eh? Jumbo or Jumbo? No, if you call the name, I remember it. So. Oh, but there was a good thing. Then all this left back. Gregory Messam from, was where, there from, too. Where, 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 Messam. Yeah. No Taurus Messam come from, man. Oh, so you were you were coaching Messam when he was younger? Yeah, before him, him start playing on the national team. Okay. And then Max Rose was out there too? Ah, yeah, yeah. But you know the thing, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, when it's from, man, because all them names, them, you see the time. But Max <laughs> Rose was a big time and there, man. You have a goalkeeper down there. I don't remember him right now, but the used to call him bigger, man. The whole of them, man, the man. Was in the whole of the Liverpool and the other port and then come to town for all, all two, three months. Right, 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 right. Uh, all right. Uh, somebody is saying that the best game, uh, the best game is Reno versus Siva. <laughs> no, man. No, well, that, everybody in time. Uh, everybody in time. Yeah, but yeah. what I am saying, if you go to the bigger heads, the bigger heads, because me never even know so the match so nice. You know, you remember the, the late Buller John, the referee Buller John? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hear about I hear about him. Yeah. All right. Well, Buller John, one day I was going on demo road and him stopped me. And he was the person who endorsed and said that to me. Say, coach, you see that Port Moran match there with Black Iron? At the best football match, me see at stadium. Yeah, because so, yeah, out of that Montague Lang got called for the Jamaica team, he was a very good baller. Yeah, what Black Eye and Montague Lang and Richard Davis, two Black Eye and players, got called to the national team. Incidentally, the team that won the Shell Cup. The team that won the Man. Shell Cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And but, can't uh, tell you that Monty, Monty played a big part in that. Okay. Very, um, very. Excellent, excellent player, Monty yeah. Kiwala. 
Wasn't Wayne Palmer part of the Taros team? Wayne, yeah, but yeah, 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 come on, you do. You remember more Wayne Palmer, Bingy Bear, and a set of you, the man. So you can't, you see, I help me because most of them, man, they may never remember. Wayne was there, too, man. Wayne yeah, was yeah, there. Wayne Palmer was there. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, somebody said that man is man. Bob teach my uncle who's working at Veer. If you, if you come in late, you couldn't say good morning. You had to say bad morning, Mr. Bob. <laughs> yeah, man, me used to know when I was at beer, you know. I used to do teaching too, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard that you were a teacher at beer. Because yeah, man, you're, you're, you're a brilliant engineering person. Because engineering because I was very good. Very, I was very good because I have a first national certificate in, a, in a engineering, you know. Okay. Because okay. when when I go to class, go finish my studies now, I go to class, I go back to beer, go coach football. You understand? Oh. <laughs> this other the thing there. Okay. But but people also need to know that you are part of the national coaching setup. In fact, you are part of the coaching setup for the first time we won the, the, the 1990, the, 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 the first Shell. time we win the Shell Cup. You're talking about Anthony Corbett. You're talking about Tiger Davis. Yeah. You're talking about Juke Fuller. And all the year them talking this and talking, the Roderick Reed, the Eiffel Hamilton, the Wayne Palmer, the Bingy Blair, all of them they hear them attack. You know the man who win everything, all the World Cup where we go? Harris oh, Reed. Harris, Harris Reed. Reed. Yeah. Remember that today in your interview. All we used to Jamaica achieve, all know. When we go to World Cup 90 year, a damn man the other man. Here, boss. Aris yeah, a, Reed. A lot of man also, a lot of persons say that Creston Boxhill played an integral part in the in especially with that 98 team because he was a team manager as well. So he's an expert. Yeah, well, we can't even no, well, me and kill him you now. Me and kill him from like 14 years old, you know. Oh. You understand? Yeah, I'm I'm I remember I say it if 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 you can't defeat where 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 my next president name. Um, Horace Burrell? Yeah, if Killam can beat Horace Burrell in a JFF pool, you must have to do something. You must do that because we have, even though Burrell is kind of ignorant, because Burrell was my boss, you know, but yeah, right, you can't be my boss, you know, but even me as a worker, I must can't tell you something, you know. Burrell, no, nobody can't tell Burrell, no. Yeah. That's not good. So you, you work with Carl Brown because you'd have, uh, did you ever coach Carl Brown? No, my man, I play together on the oh, national right. team. Yeah, you, play to, you play together on the national team, and then he became the coach of the national team in 1990 when he went to the, the, the Shell Cup, and you were his assistant coach. Yeah, that's why him, him, him called him. That, yeah, when, when me was him assistant. Yeah. And, and was he, the first time we got to go, that is the first time we got to go World Cup. Yeah. Oh, and right, guess what? Right. We were now. I oh, know I don't go to go World Cup, you know. I <laughs> know oh, my ticket's still at the airport. All right, you're too close to the camera, so you have to, yeah, you come so close. Yeah, there you go, yeah. yeah. All right. So why you didn't go to the World Cup? Yeah, because when I leave with that, I go away for two weeks. And I ask the man for some financial help for my people and when I go. Oh, I'm oh. never getting something about that go. I so mean you, that, you know. So you didn't get any pay? They weren't planning on paying you? Sometimes they mean a big man. The PN thing in a J50 that it was very shaky. Like me, I tell you, my time I spent a good time with the J5 program. And again, the man who make I stay here so long, Aris Reed. Okay. I think yeah, because know. you see, let me tell you something, let me just cut it. Because you see the man who put in the work in the football in Jamaica. No get nothing, you know. Let me tell you that. George Thompson. George Prescott. Me no year JFF I big up them man there, you know. And when we when me I play for Jamaica when we don't train, a bun and cheese, George she used to take out the money out of pocket and box shoes you, you know. Bun and cheese and but uh, when they play for the national team. Whoa. Yeah, after training. And a George she used to take him money out of him pocket and them today. I'm mean, in a year JFF I big up George Thompson, nah, George Prescott. Me no year no big up a guard. Whoa. 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 
uh, let me let me ask you this. Um, back in those days, like when you were training, like when you caught when you were training the national team or around the national team, how many footballs did you have in training? Like no, you see teams with all 30 football, 40 football, 50 football. How many footballs did you have? Oh, man, no, 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 no. In a, in a, when me with the, with the national team, that was not a problem. Carl Carl Brown was a, was a, was a kind of man. He made them not provide it. Carl would have make sure some ball did it. He's a okay. kind of coach. But what about in your playing days? What the national team in your playing time? When they went to training, I mean, what was training like? Yeah, well, the same thing because George T was a was a sort of person too. Okay. Him okay. Him on weird panel, not JF forget we get him where he was. He would have to do him thing. So we never shot a ball. Never shot a football. Okay. Okay. Someone is asking if you were at Arden in 1973. I think, yes, he did a short stint. He did say he did a yeah, short stint. Somewhere around here, sir. Somewhere around here, sir. Somewhere and he's around. asking about Nor um, Norman Murray. At yeah, Arden. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. From, from his call and name, it, it make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Norman Murray. Yeah, man. But who are somebody, I mean, who, when they talk about footballers that you have coached and work with in Jamaica, where was schoolboy? At at any level, who are some of the best talent you have? I I think like these players could have gone on the world scene. I mean, outside of you, of course, who you know, you know, <laughs> who should have been there. All right, let me just run through some. Yeah, yeah. Michael Tullam, Michael Hamilton, you call him Buzz. Monticula, Roger Creed, Alfred Hamilton, Glenn Lang, that are Barberets. Arvill Buchanan, one million, one holy for them, man. One holy for them. Wayne Palmer. Yeah. And we, 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 one man from Arborview, the name of our wing back, the one to drop out. Oh, Gaina. Gaina, Gaina, Barrington, Gaina. Barrington, Gaina. 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 Yeah, man. Can't tell. The Reno, the Reno, you have some man, 100 Angels, a one yeah. million, Joe Downer. Rowan Palmer, Paula all these, Wilson. Whoa, all of these people yeah. you'd have coached in your career. Yeah, we my name started Donovan Sickler Dean, Norris Henry. Oh my god. One wall heap of ball, man. Whoa, whoa. How good was how good was Walter Boyd in Europe? Because you normally have to go and get him. How good was Walter Boyd? In it, you know, because you said he would have to. After out of 10? <laughs> yeah. You want <laughs> anyhow, to mark him out of 10? <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, you want to mark him out of 10. Yeah. All right, let's work with that. Yeah. Nine and a half. That's how high you it's rate it. It's yeah. a blacks. It's a Walter Boyd. The 98 World Cup. Yeah. I said this last interview and I said it again. I don't know what Rennie Simmons and Carl was doing. Because if I was involved in that program, Walter Boyd definitely would have to start in every World Cup game. Not come on eight minutes. And then you people, you and the whole Jamaica, you know, miss out with that really see Walter Boyd at his best. Your match winner, the younger man who could have match up, Kohesha, the yeah, and he would have to do it every minute slow him. Yeah. Because if you go to Brazil and you're having a, a problem with the, your top player, that now stop Brazil from playing them are, you know. You must play, no? Yeah, but remember yeah, you yeah, but remember you did the same thing in the car. Remember you said that there were some problems in your camp back at Veer in one of the years, and you and you didn't even select the players in the team. So discipline is important too. So maybe yeah. Yeah, you have a point there about discipline. The man, the player bench. Oh, oh, you're saying that you should, if, if you have him, you play him. Or if you yeah, don't have him any no. other. No, the oh. man sit down on the bench, eligible to play. That means if any problem that they him shouldn't they pan the bench. So from yeah, blacks yeah, yeah, on yeah, the bench, sense. blacks to start. You understand what I'm saying, boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okie yeah, dokie. Yeah. And if he's not going to play, then he shouldn't be on the bench. All right, my boss. But I am match with that. And any other country in the world, you go and them have that player 
so devastating. He would have start World Cup. He would have start bass. Mark my word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people also speak about Hector Wright and his ability to pass the ball. Yeah, man, see me on? Oh, thank you for calling me name. I don't know tell you, you know, car. Some enough people call him as a coach, you know, I mentioned certain man. You see, Simeon, I saw me call Hector, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a son. Me and Hector so, is so tight. Yeah. Another kid, the, 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 the man, the, 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 you know, so when Hector lick him 40 yard pass, man, I'm going to look on it, them can't touch it, you know. But so the boss tanks are really, that may I tell you. The head I get shaky, you know, I get wall, man. Big up yourself, Hector. Anyway, Tiga Davis, all of them, man, they will make the thing possible, man. Yeah? Real ball of them, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You've been, I mean, you've been a person so successful in the sport of football. What are some of the things that we need to, to, to you know, make Jamaica be successful? You know, like, since 98, we have not gone to the World Cup. What are some of the things you want to see happen my in the football? My name is Star, the things we get Get make man face make up, you know. The first thing and listen, me won't go up. Jamaica, listen this, listen this. We need footballer for run footballer, Jamaica. We need football, a football. Right now, that JFF up there, so we need footballers inside there to run that program. You have some man up there, so run the JFF program. The man never even put on shots yet. That you need any other country you go right now, Barsi, a footballer, a run football in other country. Okay. And we, we need that all the year them are go around this and go around. We need to stamp our authority on that. We need a footballer to run Jamaica football. So okay. You need, you need footballing people in the football at the highest level. Yeah, yeah man. Me, 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 me can uh, me can say to you, no, boss. Me know right now if me go up in a JF, JFF office. If you would check out them, the man the credential, me almost certain say you can't find two baller in that who I work up there. Not even one or two baller. Man, I go up, up here and know about football, where football, where footballers go through, where footballers feel, where footballers know. You understand? At that we need. Because talent is no problem. You know that too. Jamaica, yeah. talent, oh God, we have that. So, them a tabo, them a fire this and them a fire that. We need to start fire the right set of people. Big boss, ask a different question. No? Come and then want to get personal. You understand? Okay. Yeah, no, well, the question, because what, uh, what I want to know is that what, what, what just need to do overall, because I was talking like to Eugene Williams last night and he was saying that, listen. Oh, big head? Yeah. Big, big, big up yourself, big head. Yeah, and he was saying Arnett, that. Yeah, remember, I mean, it was one of my team, too, you know. And at Garden, and we are big up the Chinso, we are big up the Pella Wilson, we are big up the Everton Bunze, you hear me I call the name of the Pringle, and the big, me big, me one more, I'm a son, you never even know I'm a son, it's Byron Earl, I'm a pick of that. I'm yeah, a, I, you know, I so interviewed anime. Byron Earl recently too. Yeah. All right, so you know what you know, so me and him resemble, I'm a son, you know. <laughs> Careful, yeah, no, no. careful, no, no, I get somebody in a problem, you know. <laughs> no, man, it's all right. No, man, in the interview, I'm going to tell you. Byron, General, them there. I'm going to call you that General. <laughs> Princeton back still. I'm big up. When you hear me call, man, General. I'm going to call you. Have a, you have a word that name for me, call you General. But the man, I'm put you in the punch. You understand? Back still, them man, they, they with me from here. When we go to beer technical high school, I was 13 years old in a bus. Okay. 13. Baby. Yeah, man, baby. Mm -hmm. So, 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 right. So, Eugene was saying last night, right, that just get the youth them play some ball. Just buy some ball and go give them it at the community so people can play more ball. Because he was saying that. And if you get those things going, so that's what I want to find out from you. What are some of the things outside, you know, fixing the GFF? get some footballing people at that level. But what about, because right across Jamaica, you know, I don't know, is it talent still here, like in your time? Or what we need to do to harness the talent? Can you it's say a lot there, of man, But just, just, just like we're bigger than some man, we need, how much of them, man, in a, we, we, we sell them a run of our football. 
I come inside of the inner city, go amongst you with them, hear what is the problem here. Because if them you, they have, 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 can't get to play them football, the talent's still there, my general. What about in the business with the youth? Them? That's why so much crime and them some that go on, you know. And the big guys, them now pre them thing there. Sports are one of the greatest fields where we can cut down our crime rate to nothing, you know. Yeah. 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 I see, I see your um this is this is Norman Carl Murray. He's on watching and he said, Yes, sir, Bob. Norman Murray from Arden here. Just yeah, 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 yeah. If it, if it all the youth, them like myself, yeah, where well, you bless yeah, with your knowledge and winning yeah, mentality. So, you know, he's yeah. watching and he wants to big you up for the work that you did in developing him. Developing yeah, man, him. man, as man, because it's not about just playing ball, you know. You have to make the youth, them when they come out and ball, ball, now go last forever, you know. Some farmer background after the, the, the shaking is now go work, general. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I know, I know. So, so we need to get more about a football playing. What about coaching? I mean, is the coaching, is the coaching a problem in Jamaica? You think like the coaches need to get better and focus on the, 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 the because with some you know, some of the basic things you feel like they don't, they don't have the basics, right? Because they're not playing. Yeah, but I just say, have a start in the basket. You can't, if the thing, if the thing don't build upon the right foundation, it not going to work, you know. The foundation of a daddy. And no, yeah. sometimes, like in a Jamaica, you know, one would be for blunders because all the football business now, a man through me and your friend or me and your, you and my family, me give the coaching job. You understand? And you don't know nothing about football coaching. A pair of them things go on in Jamaica, you know. Yeah, the right people forget the thing because you still have people out here who can do the job, who can coach properly. Yeah, but like me, I say, all the things set up in Jamaica, you know. My, my, my uncle is a plumber, you know, but through a vacancy there, you know, the coaching thing and the money can make, we just make the plumber go do the coaching job. You understand? And that a oh. match of the thing. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Just okay. So, but have you, have you, I mean, do you still share your knowledge? I mean, in terms of football to people? Um, yeah, or do you nobody don't approach you? Like, I mean, because you have let me say you have done so well with the national team, you did well with the Premier League team, your coach, you did well with the high school teams, your coach. I mean, do you still, you know, help coaches in Jamaica? Do they still approach you for some knowledge as to you know your years in football? Well, to be frank, you know. <laughs> The football thing right now, I am on old. Cause nobody not really check my car. Everybody thinks of them know, you know, but nobody not bigger than the thing, you know. Nobody can know everything. No care how old or how long you are the thing, somebody still can teach you or show you something. You understand? No man not bigger than the thing. Man. Yeah, yeah. One of the other things I want to ask as well is, and then I'll take some comment from some of the persons so you know just see what they're saying about you and then those of you who have questions they can put them up um as well so i can ask mr campbell is is this what are what are some because i talked to you know michael and Tolo and i have a very good relationship and i put out just like him because yeah. michael told her like i'm a little brother that yeah and, and he that do, him called me yeah the unsung the unsung ones you know doing a very great job with them all of you guys and i know that persons in this platform um want to give to that so he's going to come on and show them how but when i look at some of the former footballers persons like you who when you were playing there was not a lot of money in it now there's more money in the football do you believe that everybody rich should, and all boss. yeah do you believe that something should be set up where a percentage of the earnings be given back to former players like in the 60s the 70s the 80s and even in the early 90s where a particular percentage maybe a, a three or four percent of everything that the federation earns or gets through FIFA be given back into those players from the past who are on hard times. What are yeah, your thoughts on that? I can tell you that yeah, well, yeah, there's a whole heap of farmer players right now not doing well. You understand? And I don't know, you know, the, our our JFF or whatever they want in there. 
where you just say me them 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 have them things in mind them 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 deal with them something them 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 remember about farmer players eh eh we remember say the man they put the some hard work we put in you know eh yeah we me I wonder if them remember about where to come from if you don't remember where you come from you're not gonna know where you are going you know so maybe that's why we are wobble we shaky you understand yeah. JFF need to take up some of them responsibility today and start checking on some of the farmer players. You see me, I not take up my phone and call them and ask them. And I'm going to play my music at night time. You know, my old age. But you have enough other people, ballers, farmer players. Yeah, man, help them, man. Help them, please. Please and thank some manners. Help them, man. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, what? It, 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 it. Is it what I mean? Why did they, I mean, give up football and got uh, well and, and kind of got into music? Because I mean, you, listen, the way that's something I can't understand how you don't get certain levels of recognition because you excelled in football in playing in coaching, you excelled in cricket in, in playing schoolboy cricket and coaching, and then I, I guess you did engineering in school, and so you end up in sound system and all of that. And when people talk about Bob Campbell. He didn't talk about the man on the radio, working on radio. Um, yeah, but I used to work with, used to work with uh, Jar, you know. We used to play music from FM for a couple of years. And then I was an analyst with our Jar, Simon oh, Crossfield. You and Simon we used to work with, together? Yeah, man. <laughs> of course. I was okay. a big analyst. I was a big analyst for our with our jar. Yeah, man. I didn't know that. And then you yeah. move your, and then you branch off into your own sound system. No, the, the me was the thing different from the thing. You know, I used to work with Simon, Bertis. Well, Bertis, I want to make a youth, you know. I may bring him in the IT. You understand? And Jackie Bell, you know that I'm a, yeah, me and Jackie Bell was like family, you understand? Okay, how how good was Jackie Bell? I, I mean, because people all talk about Jack um, Bell and Zeri, um, and their expert. I know you would have probably seen them in your days. How... Me and Zeri played together for the Jamaica national team. Oh, yeah, man, Nicola, wicked, wicked. Can you imagine that? You know, two left footer man and the two away a player on the Jamaica team team, and them say one left, say we are one left. Yeah, I like the point and that then, you raised the last time. You never hear a man say man a one right. Why yeah, but the, everybody is a one right. Nobody not pray that. <laughs> I hear what George Penn has said. When me are training for Jamaica National Honor 19 team with George Penn, George Penn said, do not touch the ball with your right foot. Do not touch the ball with your right foot. So anyway, it goes to the left. Yeah, me, me around, so. <laughs> yeah, man, some good days, boss. She have a shield as a player. Very technical, enough people, you have to take them to you know. A football, schoolboy, football team play for three seasons and don't lose a match. You want three Oliver Shield as a player? Yeah. And then you want it as a coach one time? Twice. Two, two times you want Oliver Shield as a coach? Yeah. And you, you, want, what, you want two Headley Cup as a player? Yeah. And you want the Headley Cup as a coach? Yeah. <laughs> And, the, and then you want this is a spalling cup when that's the all the island. Me, all that, island. Mr. That's when Mr. Boxer, Mr. Boxer, a cricketer, too, you know. <laughs> you so Mr. Boxer play cricket and football, or him play cricket alone? No, he was he, 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 he does manage the football team, but he, he used to play cricket for VR Tech, the man. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Wow, mm. a lot of achievement. And you also won the, the all man in all the Costa game as a captain. Yeah, um, I see. I see Neville Steenrod saying pension. That's a good start, but first lay the foundation for the team to head in the right direction, and with success, the financial fund will come. I hear that Neville, but what what I'm saying is that the truth is, the longer you start, is the more the veterans are going to pass away. 
So if you wait on the team to be successful to start doing this, then all of the veterans are going to probably die and go. You understand me? So we have to be very, we have to be mindful of that. All we are saying is that... The... Go, go again. No, man, I, I just responding. You hearing me? Yeah. Right. So what I'm saying is this person is saying that we should wait until the, 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 the get the foundation lay the foundation first and get the team going in the right direction but i am saying that the longer it would take to start um helping the the former players is the less former players going to be alive so we can do yeah, more because at the same what, time yeah because most of the former players them up there we don't want to tell them my age yeah yeah um somebody here said is asking you to tell us about diego garden how good he was herbert he diego garden another great oh me know that me tell you boss sometimes the interview thing boss because me not supposed to leave out all uh, diego another one is another walter boy that you know come on tell us about him because you would have coached him and things so you just take some time and share you know some of his both as a cricket and a football and as a person Diego was 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 one heck of a person. You understand? Yeah, man. Diego was yeah, man. Outstanding player. The, the cricket, me personally think say Diego was in a my mold as a cricket tenaka. Me feel like say if Diego did go to England go play a county cricket, yeah, you know? It, it was a much better for him. But some people didn't want him to stay out there and go and play the football. Yeah, which me, you know, me don't know about. Trust me. But that was a whole Diego Herbert, Diego Garden, Peter Marston. The man, the man, a one whole heap of talent, that boss. How good was Peter Marston? Talk, talk to us about him. As a cricketer? As a cricketer and a footballer. Well, I'll make a good cricket first. You know, with the Peter Marston had a gift that most batsmen do have because. In play straight. Anywhere the ball pitch, in play the ball there. So I'm more every cause anytime you start play across the line, you may attack it like a big time. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Anywhere the ball pitch, dove. That was dove gift. In play the ball, anywhere the ball pitch, in play it there. So, so yeah, him hard for out. And he's a man with bad for out two, three days and can't out. Can him play straight. Herbert now was the elegant man, Diego, the best wicked keeper me ever see. Herbert Diego Garden are the best wicket keeper. Uh, he said, uh, Test cricket, Jeffrey Dujan, me if he said the best keeper, Diego did better than, than, than Dujan. Yeah? You hear them statement there? Yeah, man. Better than Jeffrey Dujan? Yeah, man. So Diego catch up, yes, he's the fastest bowler in a senior cup, and Diego catch up on the stump, and a, and a stump, man, half a, half a pace bowler. Who was that pace bowler at that time? I don't remember them name, boss. But them time, them time, them, them the pace bowler, the fast in a big boss. Yeah, man. But Herbert, you know, God, man. Anybody will confirm, man. Jesus, man. Holy heap of talent that gone, boss. Right. And I see, see, someone, with... I see someone you're asking about, Win Winston Twinibog Anglin. I mean, what are your thoughts on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more, one more. I'm a son, not in a bus. Twenty about because you remember when when twenty was in the. Well, on, remember the first time we won the, won the Shell Cup, you know, two nil, you know. Twenty bug is twenty bug, and T got the every score, you know. Okay, that is when we defeat. It was a Trinidad that we beat, that, right? Yeah, two nil. Yeah. At at twenty score the first goal, and T got finish it up. Yeah. Okay. Many people say that Tigat is one of the best forward Jamaica produce. What are your thoughts on that? In the command mm. to goal scoring. Yeah, but no argument no, in that boss. Not the man win, not the man, man, not the man. The man played a major role in us winning that Shell Cup 1990. Because it, it no cure, you can't win football match if you don't score goals, you know. And that man was the man, what, that was our mo main. Goal getter, T got. Okay. And so humble. I know that man still humble. Some man bossy. Some man born with it, you know. Some man a search it. Understand? Yeah, you're very close to the camera, so we're not seeing we're not seeing yeah. Yeah. 
I, I love that statement. Someone born with it, someone has searched for it. Yeah, it's because <laughs> some getting low again. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. And it was Guadalupe that we beat in the Shell Cup final, they said. Guadalupe, Shell Cup final? Yeah. Who are calling you and tell you that? Um, this person saying it will beat Guadalupe in 1990. 1990, we beat Guadalupe, or was it Trinidad? What Trinidad and Trinidad boss? I, I think it is Trinidad. Trinidad two love at the national stadium. So, just tell a person, is not, I, not I, Guadalupe. That's, that's what I remember that Jamaica and Trinidad played the final at the first at the Shell Cup when we won for the first time. Um, so, so I you can check it. Let me no, check man, it it's, 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 it's Trinidad. 2-0. Winston, Trinibog, Anglin, and Teagat Davis. The goal scorers. Yeah. So, yeah. Shell Cup. Trinidad and Tobago. Is, yeah. Somebody had dispute that? Yeah, it is saying it's Jamaica versus Trinidad, but he's saying it is Guadalupe, so... But yeah, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll check it and find out. Don't worry yourself about that and thing. But um, yeah, all right. So, so yeah, so, so what you like I said, what you want, I mean, in terms of, 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 of the football and your own, I mean, your own personal achievement as a footballer, did you ever have the, I mean, was it ever the opportunity? ever presented to you to to go outside of jamaica and play and why didn't you go yeah well uh, myself and castle bear we got a football we got a football contract to go and play for reading in england you know but our coach derek tomkinson he was the one he was a mastermind behind that and just as we was about we get to work permit and everything for fly out Tomkinson died. All right. I remember you shared that the last time, so it never yeah. worked out. Yeah, you never worked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, maybe now two men get more mature because even when Tomkinson died, we you know, still take one contract and go, 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 go play, man. Yeah. Yeah, that is the thing. That is the thing. But, you know, what is your hope for Jamaica football? You know, in this time, what is your... No, well, me have a whole lot of hope in the basket there. We no short of talent. We just need the administration for work with the players. Because, remember, you know, the administrations need to realize and understand that are the players, them are the important people, you know. And them are going they go play. Our administration right now are going like them are the most important people. Not not so. Are your players them? So you have to respect the players them and deal with the players them that them can go, they go perform. Do where you have to put things in places that the players them can go there in the right condition, the right frame of mind. Right now, me them like oh, our World Cup thing set up. Because we have play a World Cup and then the time we have to play a match, you bring out one bag of man one day before. When you play a World Cup, man, your man, them have to get together, don't it, boss? Play yeah. together, train together, understand one another. That not go away, I think. You find some man, everybody come play. And it not, yeah, me not like how it me not like how it do. Me not like how it do. Yeah. Last but not least, boss, if you want to win World Cup, anybody come at the office of the dead. Yeah. You hear what but I'm saying, boss? Can't lose, I, can't lose at home. Anytime you want to go to World Cup final, anybody come up on Mount View Avenue, a tree of maximum pint you deal with. Yeah. We can't get three of up a stadium and go and go to World Cup. That never go work. A cup world that. We can't reach us up. You yeah. have any side. Nine, you remember 98? Anything yeah. come and steer them, we turn it over, don't no? Yeah, yeah. When well, yeah. I say you go to work up. Oh, you know, we never did the tell you like, the first Jamaica team to beat a Mexican team, I was a member of that team. I mean, I mean, may I come off on a bench? 
My whole 90 minutes. Yeah, tell us They're about not that chicken meat to score the goal. Chick- you need chicken, to know them things. Chick- chicken Mason. Chicken Mason yeah. was the man who missed the goal that Michael couldn't go to the World Cup at the time. Yeah, but next man missed one from Missouri <laughs> to where me roll game, you know. But I don't have a car in the name here, sir. <laughs> but run know, past two big, big men at St. Louis and roll a ball, yeah, man, and call him name. And him put us and him chip it over the crossbar. <laughs> You're not calling him name. No. <laughs> uh, who who DV he has called him name, you know? Uh, D, DV, I did the interview with DV. He has a uh, DV he has called him DV name. DV called him name. That's about this. My coach, that's about this to hear, sir. Yeah? Yeah, man. My career, that's about this. Go to Grand Cayman, Santos, Santa 19. Kind of man, I know. Arborview Football Club come out of Santos, you know. Oh, tell us that, because he never tell us that, you know. He never told us that eh? in his interview. He never told us that. <laughs> Say that again. He never told us that in his interview. Well, me, I tell it in my interview. <laughs> Say, Arborview, half of the Arborview players, the whole Arborview players are Santos, the music player, for, including DV. And the, then there was a split. Arborview, the, uh, all of them had to turn oh. Arborview. You yeah, learn how holy for things, no? I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So, uh, because it was like one point and the man missed the goal and Jamaica missed the 1974 World Cup, I believe. Yeah, man. Around two times you've reached us already, a man chip. When Before man does bunks by the goal, man a chip. Must have put it at chips. <laughs> oh, jeez. But when she has a she has ball, I hear some. Yeah, man, we have that, man. All right, so Chicken Mason, you said that when Jamaica beat Mexico for the first time, one love, where was the match played? Them give a four love at Steaker. Okay. And we, we crying at the changing room because we have to take all oxygen, you know. Put our oh. oxygen mask half time. Okay. In our Steaker stadium, when you're in the changing room, every player locker of an accident tank, you know. Okay. So half time, yeah, we're not tabo no, we are tabo where we go. I have had the privilege of going. Them give us four love. That's take a Constantine give us the four goal. Okay. Um, yeah, can see. Uh, 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 he was a, he was uh, a good uh, keeper. No man, he was a very, very good keeper. The best goalkeeper, Jamaican keeper of all time, Arville Edwards. The man of dispute that. Yeah, Arville Edwards. Yeah, the undoubtedly. Arville, Ar- the late Arville Edwards. Edwards. Yeah. Yeah, the baddest, no, no keeper. I'll no keeper in a World Cup can keep like Al Kamali. I will take words so when we come back to Mexico, at Jamaica, I will give them one love. All right, so I'm sure I'll give them three because I'll, 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 yeah. I'll match them run past man. And lick crossbar on them something. So who are some of the other players on the team? You, Chicken Mason. Carl Brown, Mavaltan Brooks, Chicken Mason, Devon Lewis, Weber Stewart, David Bernard. More man than them. Mid- mid- midfielder. Who did I play midfield? Harold Barrett, Wayne Palmer. That's set a man there. Wayne Palmer? Yeah, man. Which one are the Wayne Palmer? Not the Wayne Palmer that you call. No, 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 no. Mistake. Wayne wasn't there. I mix up Wayne. Wayne never did it. So that different era that. Me eat midfield of them, Errol Barrett. I know was one. Who is? Who is? Oh, I don't remember my midfield. But that a set a man, a man. And terrorize Mexico to man. Them so, time, they were fast like lightning them time that way now. So, so um, um, Neville Oxford wasn't playing in this time though? No, no, no. So Most right. of them man did the Ghana, Trevor yeah. Harris, Ghana jump, prepared, jump prepared some game. Me and Jump prepared some game together. But most of them KC man did the Ghana, Michigan, you know. That okay. was the Michigan era. That was the Michigan. So why why wasn't Skill Cole playing? Skill Cole not get cut contract all on the Ghana Atlanta and contract, man. Oh, oh. I never played a bag of match in Jamaica. You know, Alan was so good that the whole of the foreign side, them Atlanta, the whole of them after Alan. Alan did they on contract them time, them man. And if you're on contract, you couldn't play for the country. 
maybe I don't know, you know, because I think I don't think that was a problem. Maybe I don't know. Because country, your national, the country get the, the top priority, you know. No man, if you want to play for your country, nobody can stop you. Because I'm thinking if Alan Skillcole was in that team with you, Jamaica could have qualified. Yeah, because them, them time they don't cherry, cherry they are far in them time there. Because from Alan leave here, you know, early Alan leave here from like 67, 68, you know. It's true to, 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 to foreign go play. Atlanta Chefs. Okay. Oh, oh, he left here and went to foreign. Uh, yeah. All right. From I him there, him. from him school. Because remember, Alan leave here. When Alan leave here, because I still play two seasons. Okay. I mean, Alan is the same age, you know. Oh. Oh, I When see. Alan leave 67, Alan could have still play two more the Casa Cup season, you know. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. He was that good that by that time. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I don't, you see me? Me, 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 Alan Cole, Lenward Hyde. You did have one from Santos named Puskas, Carlton Smith. He had talk about skill, man. A maestro me call Alan, you know. Maestro. One, one, one yeah, I said, maestro. And then he had yeah, one called maestro. Puskas. Yeah. Lenny Hyde, them the man there, yeah. The ball, each time upon them, man, they like the ball, you know what? The ball love them, man, they, you know. The key way, they, the ball has come to them. The man they have some delicate touch. Lenny had some Alan skill. So when they, as them touch the ball, them, them man they not touch the ball, you know, them caress it. They ain't yeah. to touch, man. The yeah. key way said there, Alan put it down. Dead. Yeah. So um Christopher Car Carol Carol says, um, Sir Bob, you're one of the great patriots of our great and wonderful country, Jamaica. We love you, sir. And of course, the classical Sunday night old hits of Ray Town. <laughs> oh, you mean the music? Yeah, I'm still play music, you know. Cause I'm play last night, I'm gonna play it tonight. <laughs> Even doing a permit now, again. Mind me, I'm careful of me at that. <laughs> but music, that thing, I'm a blood in a car. My father was original Scatter Lights. The great, the legend, Dennis Kia Campbell, you know. Yeah. Is that one bad thing we have got around 40 interview? <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are just like big up some man still in a Go who, ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Who, who, yeah, who played some important part in a mighty Mr. Ben Francis, Winston Chung Fa, Quinston Maxell. Them man, the Mikey Tuller, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are big up. Yeah, man. George T, George Prescott. Because man, no man no bigger than anything, you know, and them man there, yeah. Because me, I wonder if Winston Chung and Derry Tamkins never take me off of the road and make me reach a veer. I don't know where me that do. I don't know where me that do, where, where that go on right now. But I always did that steer me as me as my little younger brother. Them man there, we don't leave out them man there. You have all some man, you know, where, 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 where we steer and put up and everything, and them just gone and everything. But like me, I said, no man. Shell Lincoln Robinson. That was the first man Derek Thompson could carry go a veer. So we have to big up them man. Because he, yeah, and them man they start the thing. Winston Earl, Milton Funnel, the one of them man, the Montague Lang, Black Lions people, them man. Yeah, man. Because so the thing going about, so you have to rate you, rate you, you know. Man has, you don't know. Yeah. Oh, somebody saying that your father was part of the Scatterlites. Yeah, man, then the sky, the whole of them sang the way I hear. Yeah, one of them, they, we, have, we have to come see me play some tune and, and make you hear my old man saxophone, man, tenor saxophone. Oh, so you was part of the scatter lights. I didn't know your father was a part of the scatter lights, man. Yeah, man, original Dennis Kia Campbell, legend. Oh, so that's where the musical gene come from. Well, you see that interview, everything in it, you know. <laughs> I'll lick this, I'll lick that. You understand? 
No, you're doing a wonderful job, man. Um, a wonderful job. Like, I'm, I'm glad that we get to do this because the Almighty, the Almighty always set things up this week. Because I'm going to tell you, well, yeah, man, I've, I've Father God make me come do it back in the car. If you notice, we're smoother this week, you know. But let me, let me I'm not big up all, all some man, Anthony Carbet, Badass, yeah. some man when they leave out of the thing, you know. We make but, the fairy boats. You understand? Hector Pinnock, yeah, man, Hector Wright, T. God Davis. Gaddafi, all I will forget the man, them who, David Bernard, the soldier, them man, we serve and not get done. You understand? But when I'm they are straight JFF, one. make we bingo. <laughs> we yeah. are bingo. Yeah. Let, let me tell you this one because, you know, yesterday, um, Robbie, Robbie, Rob, Robert Shakespeare passed. Um, from yeah, 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 Robert. yeah, yeah. Anything and he, on music, may I wear a bass. Right. The big bass man, that. Sire yes, Robbie. Yeah, and then also yesterday you you had the, the Thanksgiving for um like Pee Wee, Doctor Fraser. Pee Wee man, well like yeah. me tell you say, Pee Wee was my team, team doctor at Tivoli Gardens. Rest in peace, great man that in the boss. Great, See, you great man. You, you coach at Tivoli Gardens as well? Can you never tell? But me I tell you that Tivoli Gardens in Premier League. No man, any in what level? No yeah. man, Tiva in Premier League, my four team my coach. Oh. Black Lions, Tivoli Garden, Arnett Garden, Waterhouse. And what about Taros? Taros, oh, Premier League, five. Make that five. Because when the coach Taros is Premier League, they was playing. My coach joined the park in a, in a major league. Oh, okay. You know, I didn't know that you coach Tivoli and Arnett in the Premier in the yeah, Premier man. League. Yeah, man. My coach Arnett with, with his man Admiral was there. Admiral was the head coach. I was his assistant. Tivoli, I was the head coach at Tivoli. Waterhouse, I was the head coach at Waterhouse. Who was in the water? Oh, that was Waterhouse with B. With, who was in the Waterhouse team at that time? You, Blair? Final reach again, boss. And me just feel like say, we could have won the cup. But we get bantan. But we're not going to go in at that. You know, praise God for, for all we reach. Who beat we reach a final? final again. We play Arnett Yard in the final and lose to him. Oh, yeah. Bingy Blair told us about that final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I'm a ball of them come beat me. The same, the same Pelle Wilson, them answer. But there's a lot more to that Waterhouse thing. But like me, I say in the boss, we don't really come upon the show feel like the rare thing. You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I mean, and then your coach at Tivoli. Who were some of the players you coach when you were at Tivoli? Roger Queen, Alfred Hamilton, Ian Fogo, Steve Green. Marco Boy. McDonald was there at that time? Yeah, McDonald. One whole heap of man, man. Aki Bats. Some of them may not remember the name, but one whole heap of good, good ball, man. Kasai, Tivoli Kasai side and, was, Kasai Hines was there. Kasai Kasai. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the name. But you know, remember the man, the man, because I know, I say, you know, I know, say, you know, 2000 sports man, you know. Because, you, yeah, you know, for the man, them, if you go, if you pass 2000, them don't know nothing. So, why was the fourth general? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. call you that general, you know. <laughs> We know that, man. Listen, it was so it, it's so interesting talking to you. I mean, I learned so much just talking to the old. Like, I learned so much when I did the interview with Jumpy Harris. When I did it with Neville Oxford, Jumpy Jim Harris. But, yeah, but, 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 yeah, talk about Jumpy Harris, you know. I them man, they, them, them man, they, I'm a Trevor. I'm a family, you know. Can you see Casey? My barn and go at, at, at next door to Casey, me living, you know. As you jump out of my yard, I'm a Casey, you land, you know. Oh. You talk about the whole of Casey, Jumpy Harris, the whole of them, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a family of them, then, my general. Trevor. Oh, you, ne oh, you yeah. never play for Casey, and you were right beside them. And you know, notice my name, I cannot camp my name in a Casey, you know. <laughs> That's a good one. I no, but everything, my, my, I know I still love Casey. But you see, that veer, that veer thing there, yeah, but Casey, I still, me, yeah, me, me, me very close. The Tony Keys, the whole of them man, the from them time, them man, long time, Buckyan and goalkeeper, the whole from them era. The, when me a little baby, baby boy, me used to go watch them man. The, you understand? Yeah, man. But the KC man, them supposed to have a problem with you. Worse, y'all come beat them. 
after you leave next door. Yeah, man, all right. <laughs> you hear what you about the Auditor General Adrian Strand? Yeah, 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 you're right. He was yes, and I'm the listen to the Adrian Strand band and go, other man to teach me everything. Now in listen to it. Listen to it. That's where I born and go. The first road, the first road in the world for playing night cricket. Cause me and Adrian Strand used to play night cricket in the sixties. That time nobody else now play. We used to play cricket at night. <laughs> yeah, we gonna set up another that interview, man. <laughs> okay, but I'm telling you, the KC people can't be happy that but the great Bob Campbell live right next door to KC. His name is KC. The, 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 mm. the, the initials are KC and the man never played to KC the man go all the way to Clarendon the man let Winston champ for bring him to Clarendon that not supposed to happen man yeah well no no worry you see man <laughs> you see you see Neville Oxford you see the whole of them man eh? Lucas the goalkeeper R.I.P the whole of them man eh? like family yeah because Santos bring the whole all the way across so Santos bring Uriah Black, you know Uriah Black, the man who play the music. You used to play Black. center, yeah. For Casey as well. So you know, no, Uriah Black, the man who play the whole pop music we hear on the radio. Yeah, a Casey, yeah, yeah, you right. So no center of your Uriah Black used to play for Casey. I didn't know that he played for Casey. You still are learn, you still are hear things, no? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> whoa, whoa! This is interesting. This is interesting. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, Okay, okay. Listen, but it's such a pleasure. It's such a pleasure talking yeah, to you. Yeah, see you where I'm a field, man. But I just see you where I'm more time. You have the things in here that you need to make people know where I go on, you know? And like me, I said, the Lenward Hyde, the Winston Chung. Any Hyde, <laughs> you have to check me here, sir. The whole of them, man, the Queenstown Box Hill, yeah. I'm going to send it to Lenny Hyde. I'm going to send it. I'm going to talk yeah, to him and tell him that you need to Just tell Lenny Hyde, say you need to get in touch with him, big brother. And he's going to say, I'm true, you know. Yeah, man, all of the man will make me. Because me, 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 me not for rich, we are paying a boss. And them yeah. people around me, the T. Gat Davis, the Hector Wright, you understand, the Byron Earl, and them man, the, the Bingy Blair, and them man, they make me rich. Them man, they are my riches. You understand? Love you, no boss. And yeah, anytime man. you want me, I'm at your disposal. Hey, listen, Michael, you tell her, big up yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, thanks for the history lesson because I've learned so much, but I I, I am going to advocate, you know. You know, me now stop talk and ask that people like you be recognized by the government and the football fraternity of Jamaica. Yeah, you but I move want to know the man takes take so long for give me, me, me. Anything you not give me, give me now. Nobody wait till when me day, you don't come give me now. Three million dollar casket. Me now want to know, me want anything you not do. Because me want to know in sports and music, how oh, certain things are they go on uh, uh, Kenneth Bob Campbell in bad, like uh, some friend and friend thing. Yeah. Anything you not do for me, do it now. Okay. All right, boss. Me done talk. <laughs> All right. All right, Mr. Campbell, bless you. You understand me? Have a wonderful rest of the day. Again, thank you so much for your years of service to music and sports right, in boss. Jamaica. All right. Man, so. Here, make man. I finish with this. Bless you three. Come and deal with two. <laughs> <laughs> Big up. Here is a All right. Yeah, All yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, man. People, whoa, what an intriguing, what an intriguing, intriguing in story. Like it. You learn so much when you talk to you know, a lot of these veterans, right? If you've never heard Bob Campbell play music, listen, read up about him. I mean, I know there's not a lot of information out there, but there are places you can find information. These guys have done, I don't want to say guys, these veterans, these legends have done so much for the sport in our country that we really need we really need to take time to celebrate them and, and, and honor them for their, their achievements. I want you to listen again for those of you who may have missed this. This man won every single thing there is in high school football as a player and as a coach. He won everything there is in high school cricket as a player and as a coach, 
there is no other Jamaican who has done such things. He did this and he was still a teacher in school, developed many talent, worked as an analyst, worked as an analyst on radio, coached so many of the greats. First time Jamaica won the Shell Cup, he was a part of the coaching staff. How can we have these legends? How can we have these legends and not honor them for what they did? Recognize them for their accomplishment. Sometimes it's not no big thing that they need. Just recognition. Recognition. And if sometimes, if sometimes, if sometimes we can just, like from all the resources that come through sport, just take out probably 2% or 1%. I don't know what the percentage is. And help. Not all of them need it. But some of these players would have been some of these persons were injured in their playing days. And they haven't foot they walk with limbs because they haven't fully recovered. It is so difficult for us as a nation to take time out to repay them for their contribution in building a stable foundation for the success of the sport. I want some of you to join me on your Twitter account and your Instagram accounts. Whenever you get the time to speak, talk about these things. We don't have to nominate them or have them positioned as national heroes. But again, let's find the ones who are in difficulties and help them. Totally about the Miguel Blair situation where the unsung ones had to advocate to build a house for this man. Pay off the back taxes, all that, over 300 and odd thousand. And the people who were doing it predominantly were players who they themselves did not get a lot from the football. What about in your parish? What about in your parish? You know, maybe you grew up hearing about some of these names. And you see them on the streets. You see the houses that they live in. Maybe in your parish or in your community, a group of, a group of the youngsters can say, let's go and cut their yard. Let, you know, if it's a board house, maybe it's to repair a window. As a society, there are some simple things that we can do. To make society better. So I encourage you. Maybe you're overseas. But you're probably from a Westmoreland. And there are some farm arena players that. They used to give you a joy on a Sunday. You know. Um, you know. If, if you're from Westmoreland. And you were in South and all of those surrounding communities in the 90s, a lot of what families earned to help kids in school came because of the success of that football team down there. And some of those persons may be in difficulties, not all of them, but if you could say, listen, let's, let's repair this house for them. Let's change a couple of the zinc on the roof. Let's build a perimeter wall. Don't cost a lot. But it means a lot. So while we advocate, we can help. And you don't have to give people money. You just need to get things done. You can paint a house. So maybe Labor Day 2021, find a veteran. Maybe it's not football. Maybe it's track and field. Maybe somebody who was in boxing, national representation. 
Me, I, I don't know what it is, but maybe there's a next post that is close to your heart. Maybe it's a person from your former high school who watching them at champs and watching them in Manning and the Costa Cup gave you such joy. Maybe they made some mistakes. Maybe it is. But maybe they were so focused on the sport. They never got the kind of education that you got. But they gave you a joy while you were getting your education. And they're falling on hard times. They're 60, 70 without a pension plan, without retirement. I'm not asking you to pay their pension. But maybe it is to buy a TV, a television set to put in their home. It is just something simple because the simple things that we do can change people's life. That's what I learn as I speak to these people. When I hear the cry of Eugene Williams last night, that all we need to do, we don't, they, they, here's what they said, we don't need your money. Don't even give us the footballs. Just buy them. Drive past the community and just kick them or throw them away. And people will take them up and start playing football. That's the cry of the people. We can change society by changing one life at a time. I want to thank you for joining and being a part of the show. We have some breaking news. But we're not going to add that breaking news to this video. We're going to do a next video to speak about what the breaking news is. And then tomorrow, we're going to speak to Greg Messam. He was a part of the 1998 World Cup campaign. And then we're going to have a super, super special, special show on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we have a big show as well. Thank you for joining in your lunch hour. Please just continue to subscribe to the channel. Get others to support the work. Right? Thanks to all the past footballers. Listen, you don't know like, I mean, so many former players. You call a name, they watch the stream. They may not come on and say anything, but they are watching. And they are listening. They are looking at your comments. They are reading what you say. So what I will say to you is, even in your comments, be mindful that the former players are watching and listening and viewing everything. Stay safe. And please, I encourage you, for the rest of the day, find a way to add value to someone's life. We leave you with a word from our sponsors. Tricknick. Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? Jamaican herbs and spices add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. 